Hello, dear children. Now we are in chapter number seven called ratio and proportion. Okay. So first of all, we will see ratio. Then we will move on to proportion. Okay. So what is ratio? By ratio, we mean a comparison between two number or two uh, quantities. Okay. Between the two numbers or two quantities of same kind. Okay. They should be of the same. Okay. Nature. Okay, same type or same kind or same nature or having the same features, whatever you say. And uh, ratio of any two non-zero numbers, which means that if there is any kind of, uh, if there is any uh, ratio, okay, let us say there is the, the number uh, A is to B or five, uh, 3 is to 5 or 5 is to 3. So the numbers, they should not be equals to 0. Okay, uh, there cannot be a, a ratio like uh, 0 is to 1. Okay, let us say 0 is to 1. Okay, this is not a ratio. Okay, in a ratio, uh, both these numbers should be non-zero. Okay, you should remember that. And if there is any kind of uh, ratio which are non-zero numbers, let us say A is to B or uh, X and Y, uh, P and Q, whatever the number you feel like. Okay, it is actually the fraction. Okay, we can express uh, it as fraction. That is uh, A. Uh, okay, and we can ultimately represent it as a is to b okay a is to b so a is to b is equals to a by b okay so we can uh, express it as fraction also okay. so now what is ratio let us first see out here as you already discussed out here that ratio is the comparison between two numbers or quantities of same kind so now have a look at this one week is to 35 days so do you think that these uh, numbers are of the same nature or same kind? No, one is week and the other one is days. Okay, so we have to convert uh, either this week into days or days into week. And uh, we know that uh, one week equals to seven days. Okay, we know that. Isn't it? So what we can do is, uh, instead of one week, we can write seven days. Okay. Then uh, 35 days. And in the next line, what we will do is that we will uh, eliminate these days. Okay. We will eliminate this. So only we need the numbers. Remember, in the ratio, there will be only numbers okay there will be no unit like days months weeks centimeter meter kilometer rupees paise uh, gram kg okay all these will not be there okay there will be only the numbers so now we can uh, simplify and convert into the uh, smallest uh, digits or the numbers so seven ones are seven seven fives are 35 Okay, so this is how we can get the ratio. And again, one meter is to 25 centimeter. So again, we know one meter equals to 100 centimeter, isn't it? So in the next line, instead of writing uh, one meter, we will simply write 100 centimeter is to 25 centimeter. Okay. And as I already said that uh, we can cancel out these uh, centimeters, okay, units. And 25, one times is 25, 25, four times is 100. So we can simply write four is to one, okay? So let us uh, start with exercise 7.1. Okay, so it's very simple. It's very very simple uh, evaluate the ratios of the following pairs of quantities now we are being provided with the numbers out here that is uh, the first question is 1a is 75 comma 175 it means 75 and 175 so uh, we can simplify this number with uh, starting with uh, three or five okay whatever the number you want to start with you can start but 
uh, you can see it out here that one plus seven plus five that is it will be uh, 13 so this number cannot be divided by three i hope you know the uh, divisibility rule okay of the different different numbers so 175 cannot be divided by three so we can simply divide it by five okay so i have directly uh, cut down this number by 25 okay because i know the table of 25 so i have used this if you don't know the table of 25 you can simply uh, cut down with 5 okay so 25 3 times is 75 and 25 7 times is 175 okay so if you know the uh, tables it will be very very much helpful for you okay now uh, 1b so it's quite uh, interesting out there because uh, you can see that uh, 385 is to 616 so we have to look at the last number that is the number which is present at the unit place okay so this one is 6 which means it is uh, even number okay so which means that 616 can be divided by 2 easily but uh, this 5 cannot be completely divided by 2 okay so in the ratio there is a rule that both these numbers uh, should be uh, cut down or divided by the same number completely okay so like here in uh, 1a uh, with 25 we could divide 75 completely and 175 completely okay with 25 but this uh, in b uh, we have to find such a number which can completely divide 385 and 616 okay now we cannot uh, divide this number by 2 now let us try with 3 so the divisibility rule of 3 is uh, whatever the number that you are going to divide okay you just need to add the numbers okay so 6 plus 1 plus 6 it will be how much it will be 13 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 6 equals to 13 so this 13 it cannot be divided by 3 completely so which means again this number cannot be divided by 3 okay so since the last number is 5 we cannot divide this number by 4 obviously and uh, with 5 it's not possible because the last number is 6 out here okay so 5 is not possible and uh, with 6 again this number cannot be divided by 6 because uh, these two numbers both these numbers cannot be divided by 2 and 3 so 6 is also not possible so we can try by 7 okay so uh, we can try with 7 so we have to divide 385 by 7 okay you can uh, we can do rough work okay again 616 we can do the rough work so when we uh, try by 7 it's actually being cut down okay with 7 we can simplify these numbers so 7 55 times is 385 okay now 7 88 times is 616 so with 7 we can simplify this 385 is to 6 is to sorry 616 but still this 55 and 88 can be simplified okay that is by 11 so 11 5 times 55 11 8 times 88 now this is the last state of the ratio which means that we cannot simplify it further okay so hence it is the ratio of 385 and 616 okay so in the ratio we have to simplify the numbers or compare the numbers to their lowest form okay now uh, next number that is 500 gram is to 50 kg so we can uh, either uh, convert this gram into kg okay or kg to gram but uh, it will be better if you convert kg into gram because if you uh, convert this gram to kg your answer okay this number will be in terms of the fraction or decimal so it will be a problem okay it will not be a problem by the way but uh, 
the number is quite uh, difficult okay if it's uh, coming in the uh, fraction then we have to again uh, do other things so it's better you can simply uh, convert the highest unit to the lowest one okay so that is the basic uh, logic that we use okay highest to the lowest one so 50 kg now we already know that 1 kg is equals to 1000 gram so just multiply this 50 by 1000 okay 50 into 1000 so it will be 50000 gram okay so simplify now okay so we can eliminate these units so we get the numbers 500 is to 50000 okay and when we simplify by 5 sorry by 500 okay now cut these two zeros Again, two zeros, five ones are five, five ones are five. So we will get the ratio as one is to 100. Okay. Uh, you can skip this section. Okay. You can skip this particular section and just get the answer directly. Okay. I'm just uh, showing you that particular line just because to tell you that these units will also be cut down. Okay. Now let us move on to the next one so 120 minutes is to one day okay so as i already said that you have to convert the highest to the lowest form so minutes and day so day is the highest one so you have to convert this day into minutes okay and we know that uh one day is equals to 2 24 hours and 24 hours is equals to 60 minutes so we have to multiply this 24 into 60 so when we multiply this 24 and 60 we get the number 1440 minutes okay so eliminate these minutes in the next line or you can simply go to the answer and you have to uh, simplify these numbers by 120 because 12 into 12 it will be 144 so cut these two zeros okay so this zero you can eliminate and again this zero you can eliminate this okay so 12 ones are 12 12 12 times is 144 so this is your answer 1 is to 12 okay uh, 4 years is to 1 week so we are in the next question that is uh, e uh, 4 years is to 1 week so as i already said that you have to convert the highest to the lowest one so four years so it's better you uh, convert this uh, years into days okay and this week in also into the days okay because it's the easiest one because we know that one week is equals to uh, seven days okay we know this part one week is, is equals to seven days okay and uh, one year equals to uh, 365 days okay 365 days so uh, let us uh, do this so 365 into 4 into so uh, 365 okay so 365 into 4 because one year equals to equals to 365 so there are four years so which means 365 into 4 so what number you will get you will get the number as 1460 days okay 1460 okay now we have for one week we have seven days so what you do in the next line is just divide 1460 by 7 because 7 is the uh, lowest number out here and 7 is a prime number also so let us give a try out here okay so 1460 divided by 7 so uh, we get the number in the decimal okay we know how to divide and we also know how to uh, check the number okay we also have seen how to uh, uh, get the number as decimals okay or fraction so you can see out here it's coming uh, 208.57 and other numbers 
So after the decimal point, we have five, isn't it? 208.5. So we can round it off to the nearest unit place or the decimal place. That is 209 is to one. Okay. Or you can simply ignore the decimal place also. And if you ignore the decimal place, uh, then the uh, answer will be 208. Okay, but if you uh, round it off to the nearest decimal place, your answer will be 209 is to 1. Okay. It's the same thing. Okay. So, rupees 500 is to 50 paise. So, we know. Uh, 1 rupee is equals to 100 paise. Okay. So, 500 into this 100 will be how much? 50,000 paise. So, you can eliminate these units. 50, uh, I mean, uh, paise, paise. Okay. So, simply you can cancel it out okay okay so 50 ones are 50 50 thousand times is 50000 so you can eliminate the zeros it's very simple eliminate the uh, eliminate this zero okay and again this zero and five ones are five five ones are five so here it will be one two and three zeros are there okay so it will be 1000 1000 is to one now let us move on to the next g okay so 10 meter is to 15 kilometer so it's better you convert this uh, kilometer to meter okay so 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter so you can simplify okay it's very simple and again in the next question you can see that uh, 1 uh, centimeter is equals to 10 millimeter okay so you can convert this centimeter to millimeter okay so you can cut the zeros so seven minus seven seven five times is 35 so you will get the answer as five is to one so simply you can uh, try the uh, remaining questions okay and uh, this uh, question number uh, one i okay 93 liter is to 29 liter so both these numbers are of the same nature so uh, your answer will be 93 is to, is to 29 because 93 uh, and 29 both these numbers are prime okay so it cannot be further cut down okay so in j you can see that uh, 11 feet and inches so feet is the highest okay okay i mean uh, feet is higher than the uh, inch so it's better you convert feet into uh, inches so one foot is equals to uh, 12 inches okay so feet is actually the uh, plural form okay and uh, foot is a singular form so uh, 11 feet will be how much so 11 into 12 you will get 132 so you can simply get your answer as 1 is to 2 now let us move on to question number 2 okay so these uh, are actually your uh, word problems so let us read the question first Asif earns 15,000 per month. Okay, so this is his income. He spends 5,000 on food and rupees uh, 6,000 on rent. And the remaining amount is his savings. Okay. So find the ratio of earning and spent on food. Earning and spent on rent. Spent on food and saving and spent on rent and spent on food so uh, since you have to find the ratio of the saving also okay here you can see that uh, spent on food and saving so it's better you find out the savings first so how to find out the savings first let us start now uh, these are your given figures given is income expense on food and expense on rent or you can simply write a spent on food or spent on rent okay now first find the total expenditure or the total expense 
So 5,000 and 6,000. It will be how much? 11,000. Now, uh, savings. So the savings will be income minus total expense. So income is 15,000. Okay. And the total expenditure is 11,000. So savings will be your 4,000. Okay. Now we have to find the ratio of earning and spent on food. So earning is 15,000 and the spent on food is 6,000. Sorry, uh, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 is the spent on food. So it will be how much? Five ones are five, five threes are 15. So three is to one. Okay, earnings and spent on food. And the next one is earning and spent on rent. So earning and spent on rent. So earning is 15,000 and uh, spent on rent is 6,000. Okay, so it will be, I mean, uh, both these numbers, okay, can be uh, deducted by three. Okay, so first of all, what you will do is that you will eliminate these uh, uh, rupees sign. Okay, okay, you can eliminate this rupees. Since I don't have uh, in my uh, keyboard the sign of rupees, okay, as is given in the question. Okay, refer to the page number 106. Please open the book, by the way. Okay, I don't have the uh, symbol of rupees on my keyboard, so I'm writing rupees. Okay, please make sure that when you, uh, you are writing the amount, uh, you must use the rupees sign. Okay, yeah. So, first of all, uh, cut these two rupees and rupees, and after that, three zeros. Okay, from this 6000, and again, 3000, sorry, three zeros from 15. So now the remaining numbers will be 15 is to 6. Okay. So this 15 and 6, it can be uh, deducted uh, by, I mean, uh, it can be uh, cancelled or minimized or simplified by 3. Okay. So uh, 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 15. And now you may uh, ask me a question that how to know that which number uh, can uh, simplify? Okay. Here, in question number 1a okay we used to uh, simplify with a particular number you just have to find the hcf okay the highest common factor you know how to calculate the highest common factor okay so just find the hcf and that uh, sorry with that hcf we can simplify the numbers okay now the next ratio is spent on food and saving so now the Spent on food is uh, 5,000 and savings is 4,000. So you will get the ratio as 5 is to 4. Okay. And finally, the spent on rent and spent on food is 6 is to 5. Very simple. Okay. Now let us come back to this page number 106. Let us see question number 3. Uh, if 15 gram of paint mix contains 9 whole number, 3 by 4 gram of blue paint and rest is red paint. Find the ratio of red and blue paint. So if the uh, total quantity of paint mix is 15 gram and the quantity of blue paint uh, is 9, 3 by 4 gram, then we have to find the quantity of red paint first. So 15 minus... Uh, Three, sorry, nine whole number, three by four. Okay, equals fifteen minus. Now we have to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction, so we will get it as thirty-nine by four. Okay, and the LCM will be four. Okay, so fifteen, uh, four times is sixty. So sixty minus thirty-nine will be twenty-one by four. Uh, remember, uh, we can ignore writing a gram out here. Okay, for the simplification. I mean, uh, for the ease in the simplification. Okay, so ultimately out here, you can simply write the gram. Okay, so the quantity of red paint is 21 by 4 and the quantity of the uh, blue paint is 39 by 4. Okay. So uh, we have to find the ratio of the red paint and the blue paint. So uh, when you uh, compare or try to find the ratio of the fractions, you must remember that the denominator should be same. Okay, if the denominators are same, we can simply ignore it. I mean the denominators. Okay, 
and we can cancel out this gram also okay so we can ignore the denominators so then simply write 21 is to 39 okay now this 21 and 39 it can be uh, simplified by 3 so 3 7 the 21 3 13 times is 39 so your answer will be 7 is to 13 okay now let us go to question number 4 okay now in the question it is uh, mentioned that uh, x is to y is uh, 4 is to 5 okay x is to y is 4 is to 5 and uh, y is to z is equals to 15 is to 16 so as we have already discussed in the previous uh, uh, this topic that we can uh, express uh, fractions as the ratio and the ratios as fractions okay so you can see it out here so this is your fraction and this is your ratio okay so a is to b can be expressed as a by b isn't it so we can simply express x is to y as x by y okay and 4 is to 5 as 4 by 5 okay and y is to z as y by z and 15 is to 16 as 15 by 16 okay so here what you have to do is that you have to uh, at this point we have to find the uh, lcm of y okay we have to convert this into a continuous fraction uh, sorry a continuous ratio by the way okay so here y is 5 okay and here again y is 15 isn't it so we have to uh, find the lcm so the lcm of 5 and 15 will be how much obviously it is 15 okay so we have to convert this 5 into 15 so this is a fraction by the way and if we are multiplying any numerator or denominator of a fraction we have to uh, multiply both denominator and the numerator by the same number isn't it we know this from the fraction chapter so since we have to convert this uh, y that is 5 into 15 so this 5 can be multiplied by 3 so 5 3 is a 15 and 4 3 is a 12 because both numerator and denominator should be multiplied by the same number so 4 3 is a 12 5 3 is a 15 so now we can write it as x is to y is to z equals to 12 is to 15 is to 16 so hence we can write uh, x is to z as 12 by 16 and uh, the hcf of uh, 12 and 16 is 4 so 4 3 is a 12 4 4 is a 16 okay so this step is very very important remember that this y should be same okay you have to find the lcm of this y okay and this one now let us go to the next question okay yeah question number five we can try by yourself because uh, it's almost uh, similar to question number four so you can give it a try now uh, question number six the amount rupees 1500 was divided in the ratio of three is to two find the divided amount so whenever any amount is uh, divided in a ratio be it a, uh, 3 is to 2 or 3 is to 2 is to 1 or uh, 3 is to 5 or 5 is to 3 any uh, ratio okay 1 is to 4 or 4 is to 1 uh, any ratio you have to find the sum of the ratio first okay sum of the ratio so the sum of the ratio will be 5 so the ratio is given as 3 is to 2 right the ratio is given as 3 is to 2 so 3 plus 2 equals to 5 Okay, 3 plus 2 equals to 5 so it's very simple so the first part will be 3 by 5 and the second part will be 2 by 5 
because the sum of the ratio is 5. Okay, so the first part, okay, whatever is given in the first is your first part, and whatever is given at the uh, second, it will be the second part. Okay, if there is any other number, like let us say 3 is to 1, then this would be this one would be the third part. Okay, but in this particular question, we have only two parts that is 3 is to 2. So the first part will be 3 by 5, and the second part will be 2 by 5. Okay, very simple. We can simplify and get the numbers as 900 and 600. Okay. So we can simplify like this. 5 ones are 5. 5 3 times 15. So 3 double 0. Okay. That is 300. So 300 into 3, 900. 300 into 2, 600. Very simple. Now uh, question number 7. Okay. Uh, which ratio is smaller? Okay. Which ratio is smaller? So, first of all, uh, you need to uh, convert these ratios as fractions. Okay. 17 by 15 and uh, 23 by 20 okay because this will give you a clear picture now you, you can see that 15 is the denominator out here and 20 is also the denominator now what we have to do is that we have to find the lcm of 15 and 20 okay we have to find the lcm of 15 and 20 so the lcm of uh, 15 and 20 will be 60 okay so we have to convert this 15 in into 60 and this 20 into 60 so 15 4 times will be 60 so which means we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number that is 4 and this 20 it can be converted into 60 by multiplying by 3 so 20 into 3 equals to 60 okay so 23 uh, into 3 and again 20 into 3 so when we uh, multiply 17 uh, uh, and 4 we get 68 and 15 into 4 will be 60 okay and 23 into 3 will be 69 20 into 3 will be 60 now we can see out here that the denominators are same now okay so when the denominators are same we can again write these fractions together so 68 by 60 and 69 by 60 okay so as i already said that when the uh, denominators are uh, same we can ignore the denominators okay so just look at 68 and 69 so which one is uh, greater 69 is greater than 68 so which means 68 is smaller so hence the ratio 17 is to 15 is smaller okay now let us uh, go to the next question question number eight a particular amount of cash was divided in the ratio of four is to nine if the larger share was 1800 what was the total amount of cash very simple let the amount of cash be x okay and this amount of cash was divided in the ratio of 4 is to 9 so it's quite similar to question number 6 okay we can refer to question number 6 okay so in the next line we will find the sum of the ratio so the sum of the ratio is uh, 4 plus 9 equals to 13 and it's uh, very uh, clear from the question that uh, the larger share will be 9 by 13, of course. Okay. Because the ratio is given as 4 is to 9. So the larger section will be this 9. Isn't it? Because 9 is greater than 4. Isn't it? So the share, I mean the larger share will be 9 by 13. Okay. So the larger share rupees 1800 
represents 9 by 13 of the total amount. Okay, total amount of cash we can write, total amount of uh, cash. Therefore, the total amount of cash will be equals to this 1800 into reciprocal of this fraction. Okay, so 9 ones are 9, 9 2 times 9 2 is 18, so it will be 200. Okay, so 200 into 13 will be 2600. So this is the amount of the total cash. Okay, very simple. First, find the sum of the ratio. Okay, and take the larger section. Okay, if it is in the question, I mean, uh, if the uh, smaller section was given, then it would be uh, 4 by 13. Okay, since the larger uh, share is given, it's uh, it should be 9 by 13 because 9 is greater than 4 okay so this whatever amount is been given out here 1800 it represents the larger section 9 by 13 of the total amount of cash so to find the total amount of cash what you have to do is that simply multiply this amount by the reciprocal of the fraction what is given out here so it should be 9 sorry 13 by 9 so you will get a number as 2600 okay so uh, the remaining questions that is 9 and 10 you can try by yourself okay this is your question number seven sorry uh, this is your exercise 7.1 uh, the upcoming uh, exercises are very simple 7.2 and 7.3 because uh, it is from the proportion so we, we just have to know some properties of the proportion and uh, the exercise is very very simple okay so if there is any kind of question feel free to ask me because uh, some of you are asking, but many students, okay, most of you are not asking me the questions. I will be happy to uh, uh, answer your questions. Feel free to ask me.